Hey there. I have another Swiss Army knife style knife uh, from Germany to show you. This is a SMF, uh, which is a knife company that began all the way back in 1897 and made knives up until 1974. They began business as Stuker and Company. Uh, that's spelled S-T-O-C-K-E-R, like stalker, but there is an umlaut over the O, so that's my best stab at that. Uh, they operated as Stuker and Company until 1933, and then the name was changed to SMF. Now, as far as I can tell, SMF stands for Solinger, which was a family name, apparently, Metal Waffen Fabrik. And um, again, excuse my pronunciation, but hopefully you can tell what I'm talking about. Metal Waffen Fabrik translates to Metal Weapons Factory. And that makes sense because this cutler provided edge weapons to the German military for many years. Uh, but this is just really a nice little knife. Uh, it's pretty, it's really well built, and the action on it is great. Uh, so it's in stainless steel, and uh, you can see here it has brass liners and pins. The end rivets are reinforced with washers, so you get that bird's eye look. And it has these black plastic scales. Now, I don't believe these are celluloid uh, because they don't have any of that shrinking or cracking uh, problem. I don't believe they're even cellador. Uh, they just seem more impervious to scratches and dings than cellador. What I think they are is a polycarbonate. And uh, here in the U.S. we know that as Lexan. GE invented Lexan back in 1953. But at the same time over in Europe, Bayer, the big German chemical company, formulated their own polycarbonate sheets and they called their product Macrolon. So they came up with that in 1953 also and they had it in widespread industrial use by 1958. So if this is Macrolon, you know, that would make sense one German company may be sourcing their scale material from another German company. Um, that would help us date the knife. Uh, somewhere between 1958 when they first started using it for stuff, uh, and then, you know, up till 74 when SMF quit making uh, knives altogether. It would also explain why it's held up so well because, you know, as you know, polycarbonate sheets like Lexan are super tough. As a matter of fact, they are truly bulletproof. <laughs> So let's just go through the knife. Again, it's a stainless and it's a six bladed equal end utility knife. That's why I call it kind of a Swiss Army knife style knife. Uh, here is the screwdriver cap lifter. It's not marked. Um, it's pretty beefy. It doesn't have a wire bender or strip or anything like that. There aren't any half stops or anything on this knife. But what it does have is great spring tension. Uh, here's a cutout in the scale to help you lift this vertical tab that deploys that sickle style or old style can opener that we see so often on older German knives. And uh, here we have the secondary blade, which is a uh, pen blade, a clip point pen blade. And these tools are in good shape. They're all full, not chipped or broken. The edges on the blades are good. They're pretty sharp. Not too many scratches. Um, this blade does have a stamping, and it reads Rost Fry. Rust free in German for stainless. And then here's the main blade. It's a long, slender spear point blade with a crescent nail nick. Also in good shape. And SMF has a great logo. Let's see if I can get it up here and get it into focus. Uh, it's a king holding a sword seated and he's actually sitting on the SMF but it looks like he's seated on a throne. I'll put an image on the screen so you can see that better. A lot of the German cutlers seem to have uh, you know interesting or fun graphics as their logos. And on the back we have a uh, Rost Fry again. And uh, then the back tools of course are a corkscrew. This one is a four turn solid corkscrew. Now you can see those pretty brass liners and then the European style awl. There's a little cut out here to get your fingernail under the edge of this one. Uh, it's not sharpened but it is pretty pointed. 
So there might actually be three German companies represented or associated with this knife. You know, of course, SMF, the Cutler, perhaps uh, Bayer, if that's Macrolon. And then here you can see that it does have a Siemens inlay. And Siemens, as you probably know, is a very big German company. They're a multinational conglomerate. They're headquartered in Munich. And they've been around all the way since, back since 1847. So that's pretty cool that it's on a knife um, whose company traces its roots back to 1897. So that's been a quick rundown on a Swiss Army knife style knife from SMF out of Germany. Uh, if anybody else has any SMF knives, please let me know what they are. Thanks for watching and have fun collecting.